Hello and welcome Scorpio. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate. That's okay, just take what does and leave the rest. Alright, very interesting. First card out, we have Four of Inspiration. Um, in the pre-shuffle that I did for Scorpio, um, I actually kept getting the Hierophant. So this could be talking about a commitment. This could be talking about a family situation. Um, possibly taking things to the next level of commitment. Hmm. Um, this could represent wanting a commitment. This could represent marriage. Again, family. Hmm. All right. Bottom of the deck. Beautiful. We have the lovers and we have the moon. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm kind of getting the sense that there's some confusion about a situation. Um, because it all looks good on the surface, but I have a feeling there's like an underlying kind of thing going on here, um, especially with the lovers and then the moon card. I keep getting like um, somebody wanting commitment, somebody wanting more, while the other person could possibly be you know, uncertain. Um, this could be a connection kind of going back and forth. It's like we know we want more, but then we don't. Um, kind of wishy-washy, kind of hot and cold. With the magician, this is needing to take action. This is saying there's love here. There's definitely love here. For some of you, this could be reconnecting with someone from your past. Or just reconnecting with someone you're with currently. Um, you know, kind of like finding that spark again. All right, so here we have the Four of Inspiration, Justice, the Magician, and then the Ace of Emotions or the Ace of Cups. Four of Inspiration would be the Four of Wands. Okay, Scorpio, let's go ahead and let's clarify. Yeah, so there's, oops, uh, Death, Rebirth, the Sun. Okay, a lot going on here. Um, the Tower, Five of Pentacles, and Nine of Cups. And then Death, Rebirth, and the Sun. So here you are showing up, Scorpio. Um, saying that there needs to be a change within a connection here. Um, I keep getting starting over. I keep getting needing clarity. Like I said, I don't feel like happiness is a problem. I don't feel like love is a problem. I do feel like um, somebody being kind of wishy-washy or not knowing what they want is a problem. Hmm. I also keep getting um, un unexpected circumstances, unseen, unseen circumstances um, kind of coming up here. Yeah, see, and I knew the moon. <laughs> Normally, I was just going to take the bottom card, but like I said, I kept being drawn to the moon card, so I knew lovers and the moon were definitely kind of going to be significant. And then we have the moon card coming out to clarify the justice, um, you know, illusion. See how the, the picture, she's like, you know, taking off a mask or kind of representing like kind of being a torn, but, you know, also representing balance. I feel like that's what the connection is kind of lacking. A Knight of Swords, again, kind of being hot and cold. Um, somebody could be kind of chasing after something or feel like they're always constantly chasing after the other person, almost like a cat and mouse. With the Two of Swords being kind of stuck at a standstill, like kind of being, um, I keep getting, you know, picked at or not knowing where you stand. Again, I keep getting lack of balance. Hmm. I also keep getting somebody tormenting themselves with their own thoughts. Um, so in other words, kind of like overthinking. But being, you know, almost self-sabotaging about it. Okay. <laughs> Scorpio, you guys want to talk. All right, so I'm the Magician. We have the Knight of Cups, we have the Strength card, and we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, so yeah, so this is definitely calling for a situation that needs patience. Um, again, I keep, I have to go back to feeling off-balanced, um, you know, too one-sided. So it's like, especially with the Magician here, or yeah, sorry, I was thinking it was up here. Um, with the Magician here, this is kind of needing to match each other's energies, um, needing to kind of get to the root of the problem, kind of solve this, bring about... 
um, you know, make sure you both have the same tools that you're working with. Make sure, you know, again, you're kind of matching those energies. Nine of Cups, like I said, I'm not feeling like love is a problem. There's definitely chemistry. There's definitely romance. There's definitely feelings. It just feels like there's some patience. Somebody's lacking patience, possibly. Um, hmm. Again, I keep getting like somebody wants more of a commitment than maybe what the other person is ready for. This could be you. This could be your person. You know, again, take it how it resonates. With the Ace of Pentacles, though, there's still a lot of potential here. Like, the seed has been planted, but you have to nourish the seed. You know, it's going to take time for that to flourish. It's going to take time for that to grow, to turn into, you know, possibly this long-term committed relationship that you're hoping for or that they're hoping for. Okay. Okay. So there's Justice again, uh, the Magician again, and then the King of Swords. So yeah, so I, I keep getting somebody's trying to turn off their emotions. So even though there's emotions here, we can't ignore them. There's, you know, some love within this connection. Somebody's trying to look at this from a, a logical only perspective, um, kind of turn off emotions and just kind of, you know, again, step out of their emotions. And that's not how this connection is going to work. And I feel like, you know, when they're doing that, they're kind of closing off. It's like either they're shutting down communication, not opening up and expressing communication, or they're turning off their emotions, but then talking. I, I, I keep getting like, um, like I said, you know, hot and cold, kind of wishy-washy um, type of situation from this person. Like I said, definitely needing to match energies, um, wanting to make things happen, but needing time. I feel like things aren't happening with this magician. Things aren't evolving or moving the way you want them to because, again, things are off balance. Things are one-sided. You know, like I said, I do feel there's still potential here. I'm not saying, you know, give up, run the other way, Scorpio. Um, I'm definitely saying it's just going to require some patience. And I feel like there, this person has to find a balance. Um, I feel like you both need to find a balance and then find that middle ground together. Um, because, like I said, things are just feeling like way too one-sided. But like I said, I'm not saying like love is the problem. There's definitely love. There's definitely feelings here. Okay. Could be a timing issue. Um, I keep getting somebody's trying to get their footing. Uh, so maybe maybe a financial issue. Maybe somebody's in the process of moving or just starting a job or, um, you know, rebuilding. You know, something along those lines. So maybe that's why the focus isn't fully on the connection. But, you know, either way, like I said, I, I, I keep getting that a balance needs to be brought back into the situation. All right, but then you have card number 30, make a wish. Absolutely beautiful. So one thing I love about this card, the main thing I love about this card is because it's exactly what it says. It's time to make a wish. Think of manifesting. You have the magician here twice, but this card is showing up in your reading because Scorpio, it is time to let go. Let go, let the universe guide you, put it in the universe's hands, and just let, you know, like I said, let yourself be guided. Um, release that control or release that need, to, you know, for things to go a certain way or on a certain timeline. Um, you know, just kind of sit back, you know, again, focus on manifesting, focus on what you want. And to focus on what you want, you've got to be in that place of knowing for sure, you know, yes, this is what I want. Focusing on that. And I mean, we are, you know, in the new moon here. So this is all about that. So definitely it is time. Um, but yeah, you know, definitely give thanks, you know, everything like that. But I do feel like this is some good stuff coming in for you. space here. All right. 
Okay, so starting with your tiles, we have C, K, we have R, we have N, O, G, D, and A. Okay, so right away, I'm getting road. Um, so again, you know, talking about travel, also talking about your path. I'm also talking about patience. Um, rock. You know, again, this could be some kind of something in the way. <coughs> Excuse me, something you're trying to get past. Um, Dan. Uh, Rod. Ron. Hmm. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave these here, let you see what you guys come up with. Um, o could be October, November, A could be April, August. Um, I'm going to let you guys see if it's anything's resonating. Remember, they can be, you know, initials to names. And let's get into your charms. All right, so first thing up is we have the glasses. So I do feel like, um, first off, actually, I have to say, I feel like somebody has an eye appointment. Um could possibly need glasses or needing to get something repaired because I keep getting like the lenses being scratched or something. Um, but again, also with glasses, this is talking about needing to see something differently, um, needing to possibly change a perspective or, you know, illusion, you know, removing those rose colored glasses and seeing things for what they truly are. All right. Then we have a hot air balloon. I love that. Um, for one, I keep getting travel. Um, for two, I also keep getting, again, kind of changing perspective. Um, hmm. Okay, I keep getting something about a fair, too. But then we have a little fox. And that's kind of funny because I was also getting con. So somebody could be kind of being a little sneaky around you here, Scorpio. Um, I'm not really feeling it's this person other than this person kind of not really being you know, open with their feelings for you. But I do feel like somebody around you could be kind of being a little sneaky, um, possibly have an ulterior motive. So just kind of watch your surroundings. Um, yeah. All right, then we have the charm of I love you. We also have wishes do come true, which, you know, again, there's that card um, of make a wish. We also have a little clock. So again, for me, this is talking about timing. And what's great is I'm going to go back to this card here because what did I say? But not only make a wish, but this is about, you know, divine timing, letting the universe, you know, take over, you know, giving the universe control, which here we have the little wheel. So, you know, again, kind of changing direction, kind of releasing um, with the little heart, with all the little missing pieces, again, it kind of feels like something could possibly be missing within a, you know, love uh, relationship or something. But with the sun, I feel like you're going to get clarity. I also feel like you are going to get some kind of abundance and happiness. All right. Then we have the card of Libra. <laughs> um, you had the justice card come out twice. And then you have the charm of Libra. So you could be dealing with Libra. Or you could just be, again, really needing to bring balance to a connection, to a situation. So, all right. Well, that is what I have for you, Scorpio. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, have a great rest of your week and take care.